basic setup of the machine. Ensure that the oil damper is filled with the watch oil. The time for the indentation to occur should be set to around 15, degree, 15 seconds by appropriately turning this knob underneath this knurled disc and when the lever arm indicates movement to that backstop that is the time you take. So for example putting the indenter in place pressing the plunger the arm starts to move and you count roughly 15 seconds until this arm indicates that it's reached the backstop. There will then be a dwell time while the indenter is in position and that's basically that. The illumination is adjusted by use of these rear stats for comfortable viewing. Hello and welcome to this instructional video on the use and operation of the Lights Mini Load Micro Hardness Tester. You've connected the machine to the mains. Um, cocked the machine by rotating this clockwise. You select the low power objective. Looking through the eyepiece you then look for a clear area on your sample. Then we rotate until the indenter. Rotate the carriage until the indenter is in position. Place the load on the indenter. You will see that the green light is lit. So this means indicates that the machine is ready for an indent. Simply pressing the plunger, you will see that the cycle has started, the green light has gone out, the red light has come on indicating that the load and dwell time is being cut in process. This will shortly change from red to amber. This will indicate that the cycle is completed, that the indenter has been in for the appropriate length of time and the dwell time. The amber light is lit, so we then recock the machine by again turning the knob to the clockwise. The green light is indicating now that the cycle is ready for the next stage or the next indent. Then we turn in the high power measurement objective. Looking down now, we can use the scales to make the measurement. The machine is now ready for its next cycle.